Welcome back to my channel today we will be doing a little bit of a get ready with me trying out new products if you want to see how I got this look definitely keep on watching all right guys so I'm gonna be testing out a couple of new things as I said in the intro so I'm gonna start with primers right now I would really want to use the NYX marshmallow primer this since I got it has been like a new favorite I really love this marshmallow primer from NYX but since it is a video testing out a couple of new products I want to try the morphe revitalizing foundation primer um, this is what it looks like I'm not sure on the price on this but let's go ahead and prime our face with it because I do have a creasing problem, I'm going to go ahead and put some eye patches on. These are the Illuminating Eye Gels from Flash Patch. These are supposed to be really good in hydrating and you're supposed to use some eye patches before you do your makeup. So I'm going to go ahead and try this out. So be careful when you first open it because it does make some type of mess. So I'm going to use the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen. It is in Ash Brown. So I'm just going to start mimicking like brow hairs. All right, so I'm gonna take the brow freeze and something that I saw someone try was like brushing the product on the eyebrow with like the tip of the eyebrow brush like this and then going in and brushing it out. All right, so there's both brows done. Let me know down in the comments below what you think. Um, so this is what they look like with the brow freeze and the NYX brow pen. I'm going to take the e.l.f. Camel Concealer. This is the hydrating one. I'm going to go ahead and take that under to clean them up a little bit. All I did was put a little bit of bronzer in the eyelid area, which for the bronzer, I used the Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Tan from Maybelline. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and try to set that in place with the Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula, just because I don't want that at crease. Now I'm going to use the Sky High Lash Sensational Maybelline Mascara. So this is what it looks like. Mine is in the shade Black is Black. I This has grown on me. I actually like it quite a bit now. So definitely recommend this bad boy. It's pretty good. I love how easy it is to remove and how easy it is to build up. When you use this mascara, definitely curl your lashes before. I messed up and didn't do that. So oh well. Um, but today I won't be using too much of it because I want to try some lashes that I purchased. Hopefully that works out well because normally I apply my mascara after. So the lashes I will be using are the Max Out Limited Edition Kiss Lashes in the style Love. So these come in like a really fancy packet and everything. So that's interesting. It comes like in this little case. But this is what they look like super super pretty they're like a fluffy dramatic eyelash normally i go for something less dramatic but honestly i want to step out of my comfort zone and try new things i will be using the elf camo cc cream in the shade light 240w so i'm not sure how this is going to match me but hopefully it matches pretty well I will be using the e.l.f. complexion brush as well to apply the foundation. I do have a damp beauty blender right here. A little bit about this foundation. Well, it is not a foundation. It is supposed to be a CC cream. So that's a mixture between a foundation and a tinted moisturizer. It claims to have collagen, peptides, and niacinamide as well as SPF 30. And it does plump, hydrate, and smooth while protecting from the sun. It says you can use it as a moisturizer, but I wouldn't do that because I've seen people say that it has a lot of coverage, so I wouldn't do that, but we'll see what happens. It is $14. On Elf's website, it does have 20 shades, but when I checked on Ulta, it had like 16 shades, so I'm not sure what the deal is with that. To be honest, it has a lot of coverage. Like I did not expect this much coverage for something that is supposed to be a CC cream. And I know I look pale, but we're going to fix that. Don't worry. So I'm going to take a little bit of the CC cream on my sponge and blend it in. I'm going to go ahead and take the e.l.f. Camo 
concealer and to be truthfully honest i feel like the dang concealer is darker than the foundation so i might have to go in with the cc cream and color correct that now i'm gonna go in with the maybelline lasting fix banana so i'm gonna take this on a light little powder brush and i'm gonna take it lightly because lately my under eye has been just killing it increasing really bad i'm gonna take my setting powder from milani this is actually a foundation powder in the shade 04 um, i'm gonna use the physicians formula bronzer and just bronze up my face a little bit Right, so now I am debating between two blushes. I feel like both of them are stunning, but one is more pinky than the other. So this is the Burt's Bees blush in the shade with bamboo. That's more pinky than the Wet n Wild color icon blush in the shade Mellow Wine. So my cracked, so this is what it looks like. This one's more on the orangey side, so I'm probably going to go in with Mellow Wine. This blush is super pigmented. I literally tapped like two times and then, and look. Super pigmented. So definitely be very careful when applying that blush. If you feel like you OD'd on the blush, you can always take your fluffy brush with powder on it and just go over that a little bit. Blush is the first to fade throughout the day, so definitely don't be scared to apply too much. So for the under eye, I'm just gonna do a little bit of bronzer on the lower lash. And I'm going to take my lengthening mascara from Thrive Cosmetics. This is super easy to remove and lengthens lashes a lot. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some highlight. And this is the Master Chrome Maybelline Highlight in the shade Molted Gold. You guys, I love this uh, highlight so, so much. It's super, super good and I love the shade of gold it is. I'm going to take a more um, precise fluffy brush in that same highlight and apply it on like the bridge of my nose and the tip of my nose to make it look more snatched for your nose you can always go in with your setting powder and put it in a specific spot and that'll clean up the edges so I brush it off instantly because my skin is a little bit drier than usual and I don't want to make it worse all right, last but not least, I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with the Milani Make It Last setting spray. Super, super good. It's like hairspray for your face. I love it. The more setting spray that you use, the more skin like your face will look. So I did forget to mention, I do put an inner corner highlight. I'm gonna use that same highlight as my inner corner highlight. You guys, this highlight is so, so good. I definitely recommend this. It's from the drugstore, super affordable. I love the shade of gold that it is look at that okay so to finish i'm just gonna do a little bit of a lip combination my favorite lip combination has been the so rare juvia's place lip liner and the lady lipstick love this lip combination super beautiful thank you guys so much for watching today's video i enjoyed filming it for you guys and i love the way this came out definitely don't forget to subscribe down below give it a like and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys Candy